something I wanted to share is about coping with grief and coping with the loss of a mom. And the reason why I wanted to share that is because recently, well, almost about five months ago, my mom passed away and it has been a challenge. I know some people have said, you know, oh, I know how it is. You know, I've lost a loved one. No, it's different. I'm not disregarding what you may have experienced, but when you lose a mom, it's just different all the way around. It's been so overwhelming, emotional, sad, happy, upset, all like rolled up in one. And I wanted to talk about this because my mom's birthday is coming up on March 23rd. And this is gonna be the very first birthday without her being here. And it's a lot to, to process because you know you're used to enjoying and calling your mom and saying hey and you know being funny and saying happy birthday and all of these things. And I don't get to do that this year. And so it is, it's a lot. It's a lot on top of dealing with her passing. She passed away October the 17th. So I went through Thanksgiving and Christmas and the new year. My birthday was in January. So experiencing my first birthday without my mom. And now here it is experiencing her birthday without her here. And I got to tell you, some days are good and some days are not so good. One minute I'm okay, the next minute I'm not. You know, though you have triggers where things remind you of your mom and things that she would say. And I've really been trying to hold on to all the memories and the pictures and the videos that we have together all the time that we have spent together. I've been really holding on to that to soothe me and comfort me even though you know that helps a little bit you know it helps ease the pain but it's like getting used to a new normal because now this is a new normal like and one of the things that's been hard for me is that when it comes up about missing my mom I have to remind myself like she's never coming back here and that's a hard thing to accept. It's a hard reality. And I'm just like, wow, like, geez. And I'm still trying to wrap my head around the fact that my mom is not here. I still have been having moments where I'm like, oh, I need to call my mom. And those moments are happening. And, and I have to deal with the emotion and how that feels. It's like each day, is different you know it's a different set of emotions it's a different set of feelings each day because something new you know comes up whether it's i want to call my mom i got to tell her something or like wow i'm having a really tough day like i want to call my mom i wish i can call my mom so it's been so trying and overwhelming and sad and happy at the same time and but what I've been really trying to do is just hold on to all the memories and all the love and all the, the great things from my mom that I can hold on to. And the videos that I have of my mom is really helpful because I get to hear my mom's voice. I get to hear her laugh. And I have some videos where I even you know, have her calling my name and I have a video with her telling me happy birthday and those have really helped me a lot along the way. And when I tell you, it's like, I'm like, oh my goodness, it's like, I'm dreading, you know, her birthday. Her birthday is March the 23rd. It's like, I'm dreading it, but I'm happy at the same time to just celebrate her and think about all the great memories and look at all the videos, but at the same time, you know, sadness comes along with that. So it's just been a lot to, um, it's been a lot to process and it's a lot to go through. And um, I'm just sharing, you know, my, my journey and what it has been with, you know, what it's been 
for me coping with the loss of my mom and thinking that, you know, possibly maybe, you know, if somebody hears, you know, my journey, you know, it can kind of help them in some way or, you know, some of the things that they, they may be able to think about to help lighten it a little bit. What I've come to realize is that it's learning to cope with the new normal because that's what it is. It's a new normal because it doesn't, it's, it's not going to change, you know? So I wanted to share that. And if you lost a mom, I want to send my condolences to you, to your family, because it's not easy to go through it. And um, it's challenging, it's overwhelming, it's bittersweet. And I can't even begin to tell you guys like how much I miss my mom. I miss my mom so much. We developed a stronger relationship later on in my life that we didn't have when I was a child. And I am so glad that we had the opportunity to be able to do that. And um, I'm just holding on to, I'm just holding on to that love and those memories. And I'm holding her close to my heart. And um, again, if you have lost your mom, I send hugs to you and your family because it's definitely not an easy thing to go through coping with loss, coping with the loss of a parent, coping with the loss of a loved one. So hang in there. I'm gonna hang in there and I'm gonna hang on to all the things and the memories that she bestowed upon me as a daughter and I'm just so thankful for my mom and all the things that she has poured into me, given to me, all of it. And I love her with all my heart and I'm just gonna continue to hang on to that. And I hope that this video helps someone that's grieving and in the process of learning how to cope with the loss of a loved one.